what up you guys welcome back to stay loaded trucking right now we are here in reno nevada at the ta uh we we were at the yard this morning i just didn't record but the yard from here it's like three hours from the yard to here yeah three hours and uh we just finally got here our appointment isn't until 1 p.m right now it's 10 a.m i'm gonna wait about an hour or so to go check in at i guess it's a sears outlet here in Reno, Nevada. So yeah, uh, we fueled up, we topped off here in uh, Nevada because uh feels cheaper. I didn't want to uh, fill up in California. So yes, sir, I got me something to eat. I got me a burger and some barbecue chips. So we're gonna eat that right now. Maybe take a little nap and then go check in at Sears. So check in with you guys later. And we got my two-star meal, some water. Yeah, you don't really eat healthy on the road. It's, it's kind of hard, you can, but it's hard. Right, you guys we just got done taking a little 30 minute nap it's 11 36 we're about 10 minutes away from our delivery our appointment isn't until one so we're gonna go try checking in and see if we can get in we're at the ta in reno nevada sparks nevada let's go right, you guys i think we're here yeah, right here to the right or left. Let's see if we go check in. So pretty much, once you check in here at this place, they're gonna call me. So I'm gonna have my phone on loud. Once they call me, they're pretty much gonna give me a door to back into, a dock. Once they give me that dock number, I'll open my doors. I'll ask them if I can break the seal before. Then I'll back into the door and just wait for them to love me. So we just gotta sit here and wait. If you're get, thinking about getting into trucking, gonna be waiting a lot once you when you have to pick up or deliver so get used to that sometimes you gotta plan ahead and maybe bring some food some snacks because you'll probably be sitting around for a while it just depends where you go I'm just giving you guys a heads up look at this guy this guy was backing up in this dumbass 350z just went right by him all right, you guys, we got door number one to deliver these refrigerators. Let's door, go. Door one. Start backing up in there. Okay, there's a street that we might have to block off for a second, a couple seconds, so I can back in there, back up into the dock.
right, you guys, it's uh, 1 uh, 10. So let's see how long they take to unload us. For now, we wait some more. All right, you guys, two hours later and we're all unloaded. Let's see if everything's cleared out. Okay. All right, you guys, we're here in Sparks, Nevada at FedEx, picking up a load. Uh, I guess for this load, I'm gonna have to drop my trailer off for like four hours so they can um, so they can load me. I got a pretty good. I got paid up good on this one. That's for sure. This one's going to Oregon, Portland, Oregon, so. I don't know if we're gonna, depending on what time they load us, I don't know if we're gonna head to Oregon tonight and try to put some miles down or leave tomorrow really early in the morning. But we won't know that until later, so. Let's go check in at the office and then I'll tell you guys what's gonna happen. All right, you guys, we're all disconnected. Probably gonna go get something to eat. Maybe hit the gym, I don't know yet. They said it's gonna be like two, three hours. But we're like an hour and a half early from, from our appointment, so. Yeah. So far so good, it seems like. But I hit this gym real quick. We got two, three, two, three hours off. Oh man. After the gym, raising canes, what you guys know about that? Sheesh! Oh, yeah. All right, you guys, it's uh, 7, 7 p.m. We dropped our trailer off around 4.45 p.m. But in the meantime, they told me it was gonna take two to three hours, so I went to go hit the gym, I went to go eat, uh, and went to the store real quick to buy some uh, food for the truck. But now we're back, 7 p.m. They haven't called me, but I'm gonna go check right now and see if they're done. If not, we're just gonna have to wait longer. But uh, to begin with, our appointment wasn't until 6 p.m. But they took us in like an hour, an hour and a half earlier, so that was already a plus. But yeah, let's go see if our trailer's loaded yet. Ooh, I think it is. All right, we were all loaded up, so now we're gonna go inside and see if we get our paperwork, and then we'll take off, probably drive until like 1 a.m. or something. Right now it's seven, so yeah, let's go inside and try to get our paperwork. All right, you guys, we're all loaded up. Good morning, good morning, you guys. It's Tuesday, 9 a.m. Uh, we're here in Weed, California. We parked uh, at the pilot here that they have here. And uh, we're heading to Portland, Oregon. We just woke up, it's, it's cold out here. Well, it's cold for me, it's, it says it's only 50, but it, I thought it was like 30. Whew. I even had to throw on my jacket, but yeah. Uh, we checked the truck already. It's just warming up now. We have to brush our teeth, put in our contacts, because I, I can't see without my contacts. So we're gonna do that and we're just gonna take off, so. All right, you guys, we're here in Canyonville, Oregon. Trying to put fuel, but this place is always packed and then they got like four lanes closed because they're under construction or whatnot. So yeah, we're here. Diesel's 524 here in Oregon. 
Man, this dumb Western Express guy tried to freaking cut me right now. I told him, you better back up. And he was like, what, what? And he's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Like, he couldn't even speak English. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but God damn, don't be trying to cut me. I got places to be too, just like you. All I have to do is uh, park over here by these FedEx trucks right in front of you. All right. Take your paperwork there in the office. You go over there, follow the signs to the will call desk. Okay. Cool. And they'll take care of you from there. All right, cool, man. Thank you. All right, you guys, we made it here to Portland, Oregon, the FedEx. It's 5 p.m. I thought our appointment was at 6, but our appointment isn't until 8 p.m., but they still uh, are going to take me in right now. They just said drop your trailer, unhook, and uh, leave, and then call back around 11.30 p.m. So uh, you can check and see if your trailer is unloaded. I mean, I didn't have anything booked for today. My next load's booked for tomorrow at 6 a.m., so as long as they're done before then, I'm, I'm happy. So right now, let's go unhook. You guys were all unloaded or unhooked, so let's take, get out of here. Man, I am full. Uh, well, I think we're gonna end the video here. If you guys made it this far, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button. Appreciate you guys and uh, see you guys on the next one. Howdy.